In the last video, we covered how to correctly seal the free edge if you plan to and why you should do this before painting the rest of the nail instead of afterwards to prevent bulky tips. In this video, we'll cover how to paint the base of the nail plate and cover a couple of different variables. First, let's talk about the nail polish bottle brushes. Not all bottle brushes are the same size or shape. Some are thin and square, and some are wide and round, and there's a bunch of sizes in between. It's important to identify your brush shape and then the shape of your nail base. Do you have a round base or a more angled square base? Okay, once we figured that all out, I'm gonna show you some tricks for using both shape brushes on both shape bases. First, we'll grab a round brush and a round base. A match made in heaven. But a common mistake people make when they're painting their nail, with any brush really, is they turn their wrist when they're painting to use the corner or side of the brush to outline the base. If you're super dexterous, sure, go for it. But involving any wrist movement is unnecessary and will just end up making it harder for you to keep a steady flow of movement and line up your starting points perfectly. So if you're having issues painting the base area, keep your wrist as straight as possible. The only movement should be in your shoulder to bring your arm out and back with each brush stroke. The reason being is if you have a round nail and a round brush, it's already going to create the perfect shape for you, if you keep it straight. Instead, with each stroke, lift the brush and move slightly over, keeping your brush in the same direction, and do this across the whole nail. You can see that when I get to the sides of the nail plate, I go a little bit slower to make sure I'm getting the sides. It's hard for me to film it on myself, but make sure you're using another finger to pull the sidewall skin so you can really cover those sides of the nail plate. At this angle, you can see that I'm also making sure to accommodate the natural C-curve of the nail. To do this, the motion is not in your painting hand at all. This should only be done by turning the nail that you're painting. If you're holding a client's finger, use your fingers that you're holding their finger with to gently turn the nail. This keeps the brush flat to the curve with each stroke. And remember, movements from your wrist and fingers on your painting hand are going to cause huge movements in your brush so avoid that at all costs. Now let's talk about a square brush on a round nail. The previous technique applies to all polishing. You want to keep your brush straight and avoid wrist movements. The only true difference with a square brush on a round nail is pressure here really matters. You can see the more I press into the nail, the bristles start to fan out and naturally create a round shape. It's important with square brushes to make sure you have a good amount of polish on your brush if you want a rounded edge. This ball of polish will spread evenly when you apply pressure and create a perfect round brush stroke. Okay, but what if you have a square nail base? Fortunately, I have both round and square bases on my fingers to show you. Is that weird? Do you have different shapes too? Anyway, a round brush and a square nail is the trickiest. With painting any square shape, the correct pressure is your key to success here. Because we can't rely on the brush shape, we have to account for that by using very little pressure. Make sure there's not much excess polish on the brush. Too much polish will give you a round stroke. Then I'm just barely pressing the bristles into the nail and I'm focusing slowly on the center of the bristles as I move across the nail. When you get to the corner, use your arm to turn the brush nearly completely sideways. This is going to allow us to use the very corner of the brush with very light pressure to create a sharp corner. By the way, my nails have ridges, so this will most likely come out much smoother for you. I just didn't have the patience to put a base coat on for every shot here. Then last but not least, a square brush and a square nail. Again, another match made in heaven. As long as I don't have a ton of polish on my brush and use a light to medium pressure, the shape of the brush will work for me. Push the straight edge up ever so slightly to the base across the whole nail, making sure your brush is perfectly flat to the nail and turning your nail to account for the natural curve. Again, excuse my ridges. This will naturally give you a sharper edged corner. Practice creating different shaped corners on your nail. A smooth round stroke and a sharp corner with a round brush and do the same with a square brush. This will really help you understand, one, how the pressure you're applying affects the shape of the stroke, and two, how much polish should be on your brush to achieve the shape you want. 
In the next video, we'll talk about how you can paint the rest of the nail plate super evenly, especially when you have a sheer or spotty color that tends to look a little uneven when you polish it.